People who got expelled from school, what did you do? I was in 11th grade when it happened. Our chemistry teacher, Mr. Davidson, was this really cool guy who treated us like adults and let us have way more freedom than other teachers. He had this laid back vibe that made chemistry actually interesting instead of just memorizing formulas. While other teachers would hover over us like hawks, Mr. Davidson trusted us to handle equipment responsibly. He was going through a messy divorce that year and you could tell he was struggling. Some days he'd come in looking like he hadn't slept with wrinkled clothes and this distant look in his eyes. You'd catch him staring out the window during quiet work time, probably thinking about lawyers and custody arrangements, but he never took it out on us. If anything, he seemed grateful for the distraction we provided. One day, I'm sitting in the back with my friend Jake, working on this experiment with glass beakers. Jake accidentally knocks over his beaker and it shatters everywhere. Mr. Davidson just sighs and tells him to clean it up. No big deal. Any other teacher would have made Jake write an incident report, but then Jake whispers to me, dude, I think I can make something explode if I mix these two chemicals. He's pointing at the sodium hydroxide and some acid from the station next to us. This mischievous grin spreading across his face. I'm I'm like, don't be an idiot, but Jake's always been the class clown. He's the type who thinks detention stories are badges of honor. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? He whispers back, already eyeing the chemical bottles like they're toys. While Mr. Davidson is helping another student, Jake starts mixing random chemicals from different stations. I'm getting genuinely nervous now, watching him grab bottles without even reading the labels. Jake, seriously, stop. You could hurt someone, but he's not listening. I can see him combining liquids that definitely aren't supposed to go together. The mixture starting to bubble and change colors in ways that seem very wrong. This is is going to be epic, he mutters. Suddenly, there's this loud pop and smoke starts pouring out of his beaker. Not just a little wisp, but thick, acrid smoke that immediately makes my eyes water. The smell is horrible, like burnt plastic mixed with rotten eggs. The fire alarm goes off. Mr. Davidson's face goes completely white. Everyone out! Calmly but quickly, he shouts over the alarm. The whole school evacuates. Fire department shows up. Hazmat team, the works. There are fire trucks and people in full protective gear swarming the building. We're standing on the football field with the entire school, watching emergency responders treat our chemicals chemistry lab like a crime scene. The principal calls Jake and me into the office the next day. Apparently, the security cameras show me talking to Jake right before the incident. Multiple students told them I was involved in the planning. Jake, trying to save his own skin, tells them I was the one who suggested mixing the chemicals. I watch in complete disbelief as my supposed best friend throws me under the bus without even blinking. I'm sitting there like, what? Because I literally told him not to do it. That's completely false. I told him to stop, but it's his word against mine. And now they're saying I was the mastermind behind a chemical attack on the school. They expelled both of us for domestic terrorism and endangering student safety. Those words felt surreal, like we were international criminals instead of stupid teenagers. The kicker? Mr. Davidson got fired for inadequate supervision. The guy who was nothing but good to us, who made chemistry exciting and treated us with respect, lost his job because of Jake's stupidity. I heard later that he had to move back in with his parents while looking for work. I got labeled a terrorist for trying to stop it. My parents had to hire a lawyer just to get me into another school, spending thousands of dollars we didn't really have, all because my friend wanted to see something go boom.